Hi, it's Maxine Kay with a love note from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living. Wow, it's one of those busy days with, oh, so much activity and so many unexpected things that popped up. And, and that's great. That's how our lives work. And we flow with it. We roll with it. And sometimes I have noticed, don't know about you, but sometimes I get a little bit in a knot or a Twitter thinking, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. And that becomes funny to me because I realize the truth that I, of my human self, do nothing but make choices. And those choices are very important, aren't they? Because as I make a choice to live in grace and to move with the speed of life and to flow with the events of the day and not take myself too seriously while I'm doing the things that feel serious for me to do. Ah, it's so much nicer. You, many of you know about the four kingdoms of consciousness, which is the first one where I can't do anything. Everything is done to me or for me. The second one being I have to do everything myself. The third one being Oh, that area where I realize I am one with others, I am one with the presence, and so I can work in consciousness and even physically with others for, for beautiful purposes. And the fourth kingdom being, I realize that it's all God, and I am that I am. Well, I have to acknowledge, well, I don't have to, but I choose to acknowledge that I spent a little time in kingdom two today thinking I had to do it by my own hand. I had to do it myself. Well, one thing, as I started to laugh at myself, because that's the best way I know to pop into a better kingdom, <laughs> is that I realized there's something as simple as a cleansing breath that can move me from one point of consciousness to another. And it's so simple. It's simply breathing in slowly and deeply through the nostrils, holding it just a second, and then through the pursed lips, exhaling slowly till you think you have just released every bit of breath that was in your lungs, and still you go as if you're blowing out a candle. Now, I find that if I just do that a few times, ah, peace is restored, productivity goes up. Because I've also found that that's a magical breath. You know, it's the chi. It's, it's the presence of the divine in us, moving through us, keeping us healthy and happy and calm and confident. So I find that whether I may be a little tired and I use that breath, that cleansing breath, to restore me, I have new energy. If I'm feeling um, anxious in any way or feeling as though I have to do it all, it can calm me. It's a magical thing. I hand you that magical tool today. Oh, thank you for being with us. I believe you're going to probably hear from Reverend Mike tomorrow. Either way, we love you and we love being with you. Have a beautiful rest of your day, wherever you are. We love. We see you soon. Bye.